So what you doing, Clay? Well, I'm going to give the bees some sugar. I'm not giving it in sugar water because it's getting colder. It's October 9th. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sugar on a plate. Okay. And uh, no water. No, because uh, it's getting later, and I don't want it to, the moisture inside the hive. Okay. So what I'm doing is uh, I got to put spacers in here. All right. Just they like glued this one together pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can still put it in there. Just gonna put it here so that they've got a way to get some sugar. Well, I I made up some spacers that I can put in here and set these on top of the thing. Will they eat the straight sugar? Yes. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Well, look at they're, look, they're coming up. It's hard to. For some reason the camera was focusing funny. Yeah, I'm, I'll go get my, but that's how I'm going to help take care of the bees this winter was just the, the sugar. And we didn't take any honey at all. No, we're letting them have the honey for this season. It's a long winter and we haven't done bees before so we're not going to, you know, we're going to be on the safe side. Let's see. I'm scooting around really behind you. With this one here until I get the spacer, but. I've got, uh, I'm going to take, if they don't have honey in this super, I'm taking the super off, putting the spacer in, and putting the sugar on a plate in the spacer. So for right, for now, that one there is good until I bring my knife out. And if you notice, it's only like 3.30 on a Sunday. You can see it's cloudy. Yeah, it's going to be rainy. And there's hardly any bees out. There's just a few guard bees are at the entrance. You know, so they're all, you know, there, cars inside. Pardon me? Got a lot of cars going up and down through. Oh, yeah. But I made up two spacers, and I'm going to put them on the tops of these. Put some, uh, like, cardboard paper plates with some hunt or sugar on them so that they can start eating some of the sugar. And, and you can see more coming out right now. I wonder if it's because they heard us talking. Well, I know it sounds weird, but any see, I can put different. I can put a plate in here with sugar on it. Okay. You can see they're not getting a lot of movement in here because it's so cold today. Oh. Okay. So I don't want to leave them open too long. But they'll be able to get in once I put the spacers in where they belong. And this. I'm sorry. For some reason, this has been focusing. It's done. I'm okay. sorry, guys. You're probably right on top of it. You gotta back up a little bit if it's Okay. If you're up too close to it then they I do have my old Sears and Roebuck screwdriver set here. Keychain. Not gonna there they this. are. Let's see, this hive doesn't even have a lot of honey buildup, so they're going to need that extra sugar in there. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put them off to the side here. Put the spacer back up. Top so they can get into the sugar. And this will also help them make some make some honey. Fill these things up. They need that. probably need to make some boxes over the summer too in case we can catch a swarm in the yeah, spring, huh? Yeah, we're going to make do all that for the winter. And that'll allow them to get some of that sugar. Because they're not going to be able to get out in the rain or any of that, so they're going to need to get able to get that stuff. I think I already opened this one yet. 
and I'll get the other spacer and we'll do this one here mm -hmm. just as well. Took one of our old frames and cut it down. But like I said, if this isn't full of, uh, this super doesn't have a bunch of honey in it, then this super can come off because you don't need to have that added space. Oh, to keep them warmer? To keep them warmer, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no honey in any of these, so this, this one can come right off. fly over there? No, I'm going to shake them off into their hive. Oh, okay. Give them a little help, huh? <laughs> no, they're, they're cold. They're not going to come out and sting you. Don't do anything but. I'm not as quick take the chance. <laughs> Tonight's uh, second presidential debate. So we're gonna watch that later. Up there goes the sugar. We got pizza earlier. Clay and I got some pizza and soda at the fast track and on <laughs> the way there. What did I do in the car, dear? <laughs> made a mess. I made a huge I <laughs> we got some uh, like yeah. hand lotion. <laughs> and I squeezed the bottle and went all over the car. <laughs> so we had a nice big mess to clean up. Oh, there's a bee out. Oh boy, they, do they like that sugar? I love that. Oh, they didn't like that. Uh-oh. Gotta be careful, I got a lot of bees around me now. Yeah, what I don't like is when they get in your hair. They always go for your hair. And I said it in another video, they like the carbon monoxide, they say, coming from your mouth. You know, I guess that's a signal of where to, that's why they usually attack your face. I never noticed that until we started keeping bees, that that's usually their first place to go. Can you just that. leave the hot the frames out, out and they'll probably fly over there, you think? Yeah, they will, but I, I want to take and uh, substitute this frame around that for now. Like if you put them near the entrance, will they just go over there? Well, they know where their hive is. Don't want that to happen. Don't want that to happen. And they'll chase you if you're, which is something I found out when you have bees. If they don't, if they're mad at you, they'll chase you from halfway through the yard. Yep. Not like you walk two feet away and they get back on track. Come on, little bee, get off there. Yeah, I'll have to do it from over here. I want to get these guys covered up with their Yeah. 
They don't like being out in the open too much because it's still pretty it's cold. Cold though, yeah. And they don't like bad weather that much either. And it's not the ideal day to be dealing with bees for no, sure. No, they would rather have you do it while it's warm. Yes. Little bees on that. One, one bee there. And the framework just fell over the other side. <laughs> so this can go on top and cover up them little bees that are trying to be busy. But until I put the other, the shorter frame on it. This will help protect the sugar mm -hmm. and give them a chance to eat it. And we're in upstate New York, and they say that, um, whoever they are, that you should kind of take advice from the people in your local area, like the same type of climate, on how to take care of your bees. <laughs> what? So, it's because we... I really should have my brush, but... Right, right. Trying to do as many. Here, you guys can climb right back up on top of that. You could probably put the lid on and let them kind of figure it out, you think, or will they know enough to go home? I thought you got rid of that frame. Which frame? That box. No, I, I've got the other one in the garage. I'm just letting them get out of here into the, into the hive. I want to clean these frames off from bees. I meant, did you get rid of a box? You got rid of a box on top of this, right? No, I'm trying to get the bees back in there, dear. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm confused. I'm sorry. Here, you guys can get back in here. Crawl back up on the No, but frame. I mean, I thought if you took away that whole box, they would just go back in there. Or do you need that box on there? I need the box on there so I'm not crushing that uh, sugar. Oh, okay, gotcha. But I mean, if you took the frames out, well, you know what you're doing. I'm not going to tell you what to do. He knows what he's doing. You guys climb on top of the hive box. Come on. Just trying to get the bees back into the thing. Kind of cold for him to be out, out and about. And you little bees are gonna have to just deal with it. Anybody off in here that's still on there? Yeah, that's working good. All right. Oh, they're coming all over the sugar now. Oh, are they? Enjoy your lunch. I don't know if, I can, like I don't know if I'm getting it in there, Mike. Looks I? like that one's a dead bee. Yes. There, you guys can come up onto this. Climb up on the frame. Climb up. See, I'm getting them to climb up on the frame so I can put them back in where they belong. If I can get them all up on there, I'll... And I guess they cluster, isn't that what they do? They all bunch up together to stay warm? Yeah. Okay, so they'll all, like, group together in the winter. But I noticed that the activity really slowed down the last few days. Did you notice that? Let's see, I'm in their flight path, but they're probably not going to go through here. There's some at this entrance, the pew. And the brown there is a bee poo. They're off of that hole, too. All right. Okay, for now, they're good for now. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put their cover back on for now. We probably really need to dress this this week, huh? Yes. To winterize these guys. But I want to wait for the first sunny day, really. Yeah. As that is it is for right now. These guys, I'm going to leave these. Well, if your job gives you time off, you might want to take advantage of it. Because <laughs> these things are important. But that's up to you. He works a lot of hours. All right. For right now, we'll take and uh, close these guys back up. Okay. And uh, I'll have to bring the shorter box lid out. Okay to switch this out and bring that one back in the garage. All right. But right for, for right now, see, we've got bees outside. Yeah. But, uh, need to. I don't know if I'm showing too good because I can't really see a whole lot, but. So, like, subscribe. Please share this video with your friends. And join us on Facebook. It's uh, Ruthie and Clay Popo on Facebook and Twitter. It's at R47R. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. God bless.